Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Millican Fishing. Got two hours tonight, two hours real quick. There's a huge, huge storm rolling in. I'm at this lake, uh, another little local lake I spent a lot of time at. I actually was here two days ago and they were loaded on beds. Took my mom out fishing for Mother's Day, which by the way, I know I always say take a kid fishing. Taking your mom out fishing on the boat with you can be equally as rewarding and entertaining. We had a great time. Anyways, the bass are loaded up on beds. It's been two days, so they could be completely gone. It is really windy. The sun's out at least, but like I said, big storm rolling in here in two hours. But I'm gonna get the boat dumped in real quick, see if we can catch some of those bedding bass. I am absolutely stoked. Let's go get some. All right, here we go. Let's find some biggins. I'm just gonna flip around with this bait uh, until I find some beds and then hopefully, hopefully find some beds that is. Always good to flip around these docks. You know, there could be some pre-spawn or post-spawn. These will just be post-spawners out here. But basically what I'm looking for uh, on these spots, bass have to have two things uh, to spawn. So we're back in a, a marina cut. And so the first thing, most importantly, they need protection. They gotta have protection. Uh, anytime there's wind blowing on it, that's just an area. Areas with a lot of wind are areas where bass will not make beds. Second thing they need is something hard bottom or something hard to spawn on. So the best spots in these little areas are going to be anything where there's sand or gravel mixed in. And a lot of these people dump uh, sand out there for their kids to swim on, and that's where the beds load up. So hopefully those fish I found the other day are still there. If not, no big deal. We'll go flip and crank and stuff and do, do some of that. But we are definitely gonna check those first because there was lots of four to five pounders. So maybe we can get some. Ooh, big one. Yes, sir. That one actually looks like a male. Um, well, tough to tell. She's not shooting out eggs, but her, look at that tail. Super bloody from fanning out everything. So it's either someone, either a female gardening nest uh, or a male that just jumped on it. Nice. Good little two and a half, three pounder to start. Flip back in there and see if maybe that was either the female or the male. There might be another one in there with them. This water is going to be tough to see them in. It's gotten pretty muddy the last few days somehow. I don't really know how, but hasn't been that much wind or rain. Now oh, there's a big one right there. He's probably four pounds. Definitely big enough to work on for a little bit anyway. Super hard to see, but with these Costa 580s, you know, that really cuts the learning curve a ton. So this is my rig I really like to use. Um, bed fishing. It's like a little tiny drop shot with a heavier weight and a beaver bait. It keeps it up in the fish's face and I think that gets a couple more bites. They don't have to nose down. It's a lot easier for them. You can really shake this in place too without having to move it very far. Oh yeah, she got it. Yes, look at that one. Hell yes on that modified drop shot rig. Look at that one, that one's, uh, that's, she's dumped eggs and she's still four pounds probably. Man, that's freaking sweet. That right there is how it's done. That little modified, uh, little tiny drop shot rig. I'm gonna get her back in the water, back to her eggs. Freaking sweet. Let's get some more. Oh, a little plastic bait. Oh, that one was bigger. It looks like a little crawdad. Yeah, it's, it's not too exciting. I should have caught that one right there. I wasn't paying attention and she bit. There's another one back under here though too. No, no problem at all. See that bass right there, right by the pole? It's a big one. Oh shit, yeah. I think she just moved. I can't see her anymore. That boy you. Oh no, you're okay. They keep moving on and off. I think that one's too spooky to bite anyway. Yeah, do you fish for bass much? I try. Yeah, that's uh, 
I most do, I don't do much catching. I do yeah. That for sure. That's pretty slick, and then just a little weight on the. Just bottom. a weight, yeah. Usually a drop shot, you fish like eight or twelve inches up higher than that. But when they're on beds like this, it's really good to have just a real short piece of string there. Uh -huh. Keeps the bait up in their face a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Try that. Yeah, it's a good spot right here, man. Yeah, shit, yeah. I did, I've never even seen those. Yeah, you probably won't see them again in two or three days. They'll be done for the year. But these docks around here are all really good. Usually. Yeah, I think they're gone for a second. I might need to come back to them or something. Or you can catch them. Bring your pole out here. <laughs> I, 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 I tried, but I, I've not been Thank you, sir. Now this is crazy hard to see these fish. It's gotten a lot muddier in, of course. The storm's rolling in. Some of us had to work today, otherwise I'd be whacking these guys right here, I feel like. That does not look good. There was one right there. She just chased a bluegill off, or I spooked her, one of the two. Let's see if maybe we can blind cast this Senko, get her to come back and bite. All right, let's see if we can get this one without spooking it. It is so damn hard though. Just gotta ease in because it's cloudy, water's muddy. You can only see about a foot and a half, two feet. They're up there shallow, man, but it is tough to see them. So that's bad. Yeah, we're about to get killed in about 10 minutes, so we're going to wrap this one up. Well, the storm didn't kill us, so we're back home here. Um, got my whiskey drink going. I think Old Forester and water is what we're drinking tonight. Very, very tasty. So check that out if you have a chance anyway i know the video got cut short tonight by the storm unfortunately frustrating because i feel like if i could have been out earlier today would have whacked a whole bunch more of those fish that storm coming in they were biting pretty good even on beds i'm going to show you this bed fishing rig um, this is the little modified drop shot i was using i know you guys will probably be interested to see that so really all it is it's a drop shot with a straight shank flipping hook uh, regular size beaver about two to uh, four inches what I like on the dropper length and then like a three eight ounce drop shot weight. Now like I was saying in the video it's it's a great rig because it sits the bait up a little bit higher off the bottom. You know those bed fish already aren't trying to eat so they don't really want to nose down and dig a bait out of muck and sand and gravel. So that's an awesome way to get a few more bites. Anyway I hope you guys like the video. I know it kind of sucked. It was the only real bed fishing video I got to shoot this year so far. There might be a couple more. This weekend we're hitting three or four different lakes, going with Joe. We're going to be pre-fishing Saturday, and then Sunday we got a tournament. Also something I know you guys were very excited about. I was very happy to see you were as excited as I was about that Cast King Assassin Reel. I went ahead and got these bad boys. We got the Speed Demon and the Stealth. So I'm super psyched. I'm not going to do like an unboxing video or something right now. But I am going to use these all weekend, and then I plan to do a dedicated review after I use these for a while. Put these to good use and let you know what I like about them, the different features of these reels. And once again, these are two super cheap reels. I'll leave a link in the description for this video. But I will do a dedicated uh, video for these coming up. Another question I've had a lot um, since my last video, people are asking a lot about what that white tracker is on my rods. That's an angler tracker made by Angler Labs. Awesome piece of technology. Again, I'm going to make a video about these dedicated to this product. It's an awesome way to track all your catches and track all the weather conditions and everything else while you fish. Once again, though, that'll be coming here in the next couple weeks. Hopefully this weekend we'll do some frog fishing, flipping, and then the fish are going to be pulling back offshore. It's supposed to be really terrible weather, so that might play to our advantage. We might be able to catch some whopper plopper fish, get some awesome fish catches on video. But for now, I'm out of here. Use that drop shot rig. I promise you, if there's still fish on beds, if you live up north, that's going to be a killer rig for you guys to catch more fish. Please go down and subscribe to Melican Fishing. All you got to do is go down there in the corner, hit the MF. Really appreciate if you took the time to do that. Thank you so much for watching, though. I'm out. Peace. I got, I got, I got, I got realness. I just kill shit because it's in my DNA.